Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> First of all, we have another camera angle. I'm sure you guys have seen this at, at some point now. I'm trying to have Sean help me with filming and stuff. Here he is. If you don't know, Sean is my husband and he's a weird guy. Yeah, so. I am. Okay. <laughs> so he's going to be helping me film a little bit and you guys are going to have this other camera angle. I can see a fingerprint on the lens. That's awesome. So today we're going to be making hair clips, little resin hair clips. I've got the molds and then I've also got the little clippies that go into your hair, but we're going to be making them with UV resin. And I've rarely, I mean, I have used UV resin before, but I've got this giant freaking vat basically of UV resin. It's 16 ounces. It's from counterculture DIY. So anyway, we're going to be making some hair clips and I've got a bunch of different stuff that I want to try to mix into the UV resin. So I'm going to change up the angle so you guys can see. Change up the angle, Shane. So I'm going to change up the angle so that you guys can see what I'm doing with my hands and so that you guys can see how I'm going to make these. I'm excited. So here are the little silicone molds that we have. They are teeny tiny, uh, but here is one of them. There's just like a few different shapes. And then we've also got the actual like clip part. So we've got like a bunch of different shapes, but we've got these. So here are my ideas for the hair clips. I want to do some with, and Sean suggested Halloween colors. So I want to do one with alcohol ink, like try to mix in alcohol ink. So we've got Halloween colors. I've got orange and I've got black. And then I also have this mica from Counterculture DIY. So this is like a color shifty mica. So I've got that and I want to try to mix that into some of the UV resin. And then I've also got this, which I wonder if this will even work because this changes color in the sunlight. So this is a solar color dust pigment and it's a solar color dust. Wow, this is like a solar color dust. Yeah. They have a product that's their name. Anyway, I wonder if this is like one of their first products that they ever came out with. But this changes from white to sapphire blue once you put it in the sunlight. And it does. Like, instantly. It's kind of crazy. It is kind of like this whitish, like, very light green color. But when you put it in the sun, it like instantly changes to this like really pretty blue color. So I'm trying to mix that into some of them. And then the last thing that I've got is the solar color dust glow dust so this glows in the dark and the color is invisible hot pink sean and i were like how is it invisible it is like this really pretty bright pink color and i want to see if that will work in uv resin so a bunch of different experiments going on here and i'm excited to see if that works okay so i have my gloves on i got my apron on i got my mask on the last time that i used uv resin it did give me a headache so I'm fully masked, and Sean's also got a mask on. <laughs> We've got everything ready. I got some silicone cups. I'm gonna open up the UV resin. I'm gonna squirt them into this cup. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the mica from Panacol for DIY. Mmm, look how pretty that is. That's amazing. It's like tricks. So pretty. I love it. Alright, so I'm going to take one of my molds and pour some of this resin in. Alright, so I'm going to use my UV light to cure it, hopefully. I think I'm going to have to do both sides. Oh, okay. Now we're going to pop it out. Are you excited? I am excited. Wow! Oh my gosh, it's like kind of rubbery right now. Yeah. I think once it gets like cooled off, it's not going to be as like, I don't know, gummy. Yeah. Maybe I'll make another one just like this so you have like a matching hair. Oh, yeah.
Yes, now we have a matching set. So you can put them in here. <laughs> okay, so we're going to mix up a new one. And I'm going to be using the Glow in the Dark dress. So this is supposed to glow pink. And I don't know if you can mix glow, like glow in the dark stuff into a UV resin and it'll work. Alright, so adding some UV resin. So now we're going to add the glow in the dark. I don't know how much to add, so. Alright, so this is what it's looking like. It's basically just white right now. Alright, so we're going to do this mold now. Oh my god! It goes back to white. Yep. I'm just gonna flip it over and do the back side really quick. So now we're gonna pop it out. It's like so hot when you first pop it out. Really? Yeah. So here is the glow in the dark one. And I will test it later once I let it dry. But yeah, I'm excited! Cute! I'll probably show you guys when I make one, like what it looks like, and then we'll do like a matching one uh, off camera, and then at the end I'll show you guys everything that we made. We're gonna do the solar color dust, the one that changes from white to a sapphire blue. I'm gonna put some of the UV resin in there, enough to do two clips. I'm gonna take a bit of this pigment and put it in. And we're going to cure it. Oh my gosh! Wow. It's so blue! Right away. And we're going to flip it over and through the other side. Okay. Pretty cute. It kind of like almost looks like it'll glow in the dark. That's what it is, right? No, it's supposed to turn blue in the sunlight. Oh, oh, okay. It's supposed to go from white to blue. Alright, I'm going to let that dry off to the side and I'm going to make the matching one. I have two cups, so I'm going to do the alcohol ink one. I'm going to put a bit of resin in both cups and then I'm going to drip some alcohol ink. Wow. Alright, I'm going to try to add some dispersion colors to see if they'll, like, I don't know, be brighter. Ah! That was a lot. Oh, it's crap. Look how bright that is. Oh my god. It's like neon. That looks much better. Looks cool. Yeah, it does. I'm gonna pop this, this one out. I love how the colors came out, like a lot. Cute! Cute! I'm just gonna make a matching one off camera and then we'll start assembling them. Okay, so we're gonna start attaching these little tops to the clippy part. So I think I'm gonna try to do it with UV resin. Um, I'm just gonna put a little bit here and then a little bit at the bottom as well and try to UV resin it to the top part of the clip. I think it worked. Yeah? Yeah. Like it. Is it cute? I think it's pretty cute. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing for the other one. Mm -hmm. 
It's a little off center, but it's still cute. Okay. They're the two clips together. Alright, you guys, so I have finished assembling all of our clips. So we have these ones, which are honestly, these ones are my favorite. And then we have these longer ones. And this like is supposed to go from a white to a blue, but it kind of stays as like a green color. And then these ones are the, what are they? Oh, they change color. Wait, what are they? <laughs> glow in the dark. Glow in the dark. Yeah, they're supposed to glow pink. So we have all of these. Oh, and then the Halloween colored ones, so the, I think when I added the dispersion colors, it made it so that it, the resin couldn't, like, cure properly. So I have them, like, sitting outside on the ground, like, in the, well, it's not sunny right now, but it was a second ago. So I have them uh, outside, and I'm hoping that it'll, like, help them cure. I don't know. No matter how much I used, like, my UV light on them, they just wouldn't cure, and they're, like, kind of squishy. So I think it has to do with the dispersion colors, but anyway, we have all of these clips, and literally, like, them together, like, their color scheme together is so cute and like pastel all right so here are some I, i'm gonna say close-up shots because that's what i always say but i feel like they're just gonna be goofy shots of wearing these clips and i'm probably gonna clip them in sean's beard No clips on this side. Listen, we gotta get the 360, get the dumpster shot. Who is that with the glowing clips? <laughs> So thank you guys so much for watching this video. You have to comment which pair is your favorite. I mean, I know these don't change color, but they're just the cutest. They're so, I love, I don't know. I love this color. Make sure you give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Instagram. It is at artsymadwoman. I love you guys to absolute death. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. See, that's how you say goodbye. Goodbye. Not just like, bye. Gross. Oh no! My mat is dirty. No. Alright, ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's that. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna flip you guys. No, I'm not gonna flip you. <laughs> Just showed my nasty nails. Make sure you get it. What's up, guys? This is my chin. You can obviously see that they work very well. I love you to absolute death. And I'll see you in the next video. You didn't even say goodbye. Bye.